I'm here to do the baby style tag. I've been tagged by the lovely Millie from Coal & Co. Um, so I'm just going to work my way through the questions. Um, hello! My little pickle is uh, sat next to me here in her little walker so she might be making some noise as we go through. Um, question number one. What are your favourite places to shop? Um, my favourite place to shop is probably John Lewis. I think they have some lovely bits in there. Um, the Heritage Collection is just gorgeous. It's so nice. It's really like old fashioned. There's loads of like smocking and corduroy, and it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, but that is quite expensive, so I don't shop there often. But it probably is my favourite place. Um, other places I like to shop, like pick up bits. I really like. Um, I wouldn't say there was one shop that I really love. Um, there's little bits from every shop if you know what I mean. Um, like I get bits from Sainsbury's and Next but I don't like it all. Um, but you'll see my style is mainly flowery. <laughs> um, another shop I really like is Zara um, but not Rosalie's only, well she's five months, five months this week aren't you baby? Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, she's not old enough for Zara yet, but when I think it's from nine months onwards, um, it's really lovely. So I'm looking forward to getting some pieces from there. So question number two, what is your favourite accessory for baby? Um, my favourite, it's got to be shoes. Uh, Rosalie has a lot of shoes. I don't think she ever goes out without a pair of shoes on. <laughs> Um, they're not all like really hard shoes, well they're all pram shoes so they're all quite soft anyway, even her proper shoes, but my um, my nan knits and my mum crochets, so they crochet her and knit her a lot of little booties I've requested, um, little sandals, um, pretty much for every outfit she's got a matching pair of little knitted shoes which I absolutely love, so she wears those like every day. Question number three, do you ever shop second hand? Um, I do, and I'm not opposed to shopping secondhand, but I have done in the past. Um, when I was pregnant, I I really love Kath Kitson, and I wanted to get lots of Kath Kitson baby clothes, which are also quite expensive. So I looked on eBay, and I bought quite a few little Kath Kitson bits from eBay. Um, but actually, they're not very they're not very good quality. They don't last. Uh, they don't fit Rosalie. I know every baby's different, but their sizing is really weird. I think really small so she grows out of them really quickly um, so I've I've gone off Kath, Kath Kitson baby clothes totally because they don't fit very nicely um, but I did buy a lot of of Kath Kitson bits from eBay um, I would go to charity shops and I would buy stuff but I never find anything good um, I don't know if it's the charity shops around by me or but no I've I'm not very good to charity at charity shopping and I never seem to find anything nice in there Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Good girl. Right, question number four. Do you ever splurge on baby items? Um, to be honest, I don't actually buy that many of Rosalie's clothes. Um, my mum is a total shopaholic and she goes shopping like every weekend and she normally buys Rosalie something. So. Most of, she's probably, it's probably grandma style that um, Rosalie wears because she buys most of her clothes. Although we're pretty much on the same page, we like the same stuff, it's mainly. She's got a lot of flowers and a lot of roses. Um, I don't think I personally, oh, it's, I've ever spent more than £30 on an item of clothing. Uh, I have splurged on other stuff, like for a nursery, I think I spent, from, there was some white company bed linen that I absolutely fell in love with and I really, 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 really wanted and it was, it was a horrendous amount of money, I can't even remember, I think in total it was like, for the cot bumper, the quilt, the sheet, the cushion cover, I think it was like over £200 for it all, um, and now I think, oh my god, I can't believe I spent that much money on stuff that she's going to be sick on. But I was naive and pregnant and had no idea what being a mother was going to be like. And um, yeah, so that was probably the biggest splurge I think ever. But if there's something I really love, then I would spend the money on it. Question number five. How would you describe your baby's style? Um, I would say it's floral, definitely. Rosalie, like everything she has is got flowers on. <laughs> so um, I'd say it's floral, um, it's quite old-fashioned, uh, 
because my grandma, my grandma, her grandma and my nan knit, so her great grandma and her grandma knit and crochet, she has a lot of cardigans and so she wears a lot of dresses with little cardigans over the top, hand knitted cardigans and um, I tend to put her in leggings and um, tops, so tops and leggings, uh, that's really it really. She's got a, Rosie's got a really big belly, um, so dungarees don't really look that great. Uh, trousers, mostly, she hasn't got a waist because she's a baby obviously, so they don't look very good. Uh, so I tend to put her in dresses and, um, dresses and leggings and tops to cover her big belly. <laughs> Question number six. Do you ever match your outfits to your baby's outfits? Um, I tend to wear a lot of grey and black and Rosalie tends to wear a lot of pink so we don't often match. However, there are a few things that I have bought so we will match in future. Um, I thought I'd show you them. First of all, uh, my mum, so Rosalie's grandma, made Rosalie this little hat. This is Rosalie's one. It only just fits in the frame. God. This is my hat. <laughs> um, we, so we have matching hats that I have put us in together at the same time because I think they look cute. And Nick thinks I'm absolutely mad, but we look good, don't we, baby? We look good. Yeah. We do. We look cute in our little matching hats. Um, and also, some other hats. I bought these... Um, Rosie for Christmas. It's a little, for when we go on holiday next year, it's a little hat, sun hat. And how cute is that? I also bought Mummy one too! So, yes, we will be matching and rocking our sun hats on the beach next year. We also have my nan's 80th birthday party on this Saturday and Rosalie is wearing, I've got a hat hair now, um, a velvet, navy velvet dress that my nan got her for Christmas from Marks and Spencers. And I'm also going to be wearing a navy velvet dress, so for the first time we will be kind of matching. Which is quite nice. Question number seven. Do you dress your baby every day or do you have pyjama days? Um, pretty much, I tend to... Oh! You're getting bored now! Yeah! I tend to... Excuse me. Um dress Rosalie every day, uh, even if, like yesterday we went to the doctors so I kept her, I put a sleep suit on her, so I changed out of her pyjamas like the sleep suit she'd want in bed and I put a clean sleep suit on her, so even if we do, I do keep her in a sleep suit, which is very very rarely, it would always be a clean one, um, and yeah, we, normally she wears, if we're staying in, she wears leggings and tops mostly, um, at the weekend I put her in dresses and tights. Uh, as a rule, but um, yeah, if we're going out, then she'll wear dresses and tights normally. I don't. I, I tend to think tights will be uncomfortable, so um, I tend to put her in leggings if we're just staying in because I think they're more comfy. Now, question number eight: Does your baby have more clothes than you? Um, this is quite embarrassing, but no, she does not. I have a vast walk-in wardrobe. Um, so yeah, no. And Rosalie does have a lot of clothes. She has a chest of drawers, and she has a wardrobe, but still, she doesn't have as much as mummy. There's still time, she'll get there. Question number nine is, what is your favourite item of clothing in your baby's wardrobe? Um, I've picked out a few things to show you. Um, this, I think, is my number one favourite. It is this gorgeous little dress. You can see it. It's um, from Kath Kitson. And it's so nice. I absolutely love it. It's got like smocking at the front. Um, a little Peter Pan collar. This I actually bought, for, this was one of my eBay finds. Um, I was lusting after this for ages and then it sold out by the time I got around to ordering it from Kath Kitson. So I tracked it down on the interweb and found it and it was on eBay and it's got buttons all down the back. It's got little matching pants as well. I don't know if the pants are up here. Yeah, they are. little matching panties so I can't wait to put her in this in the summer it's really it's, it's six to twelve months so it probably would fit her now I have to think about trying it on because 
I tend to wait and then she's grown out of them by the time she goes to wear them so I might have to try on this but yeah I really really love that that's probably this sort of dress probably sums up Rosalie's style roses floral with like a little cardi it's lovely um, I also thought I'd show you this we got this my mum actually bought this for Rosalie yesterday um, so this is another it was half price in Sainsbury's and it was £7, so it was only £3.50. So it's this little top with um, little leggings that go with it. So this is the kind of tunic and top things that she wears. Leggings and top. Even. Um, I also thought I'd show you these because these are another few favourite things. She's not worn these yet because what you'll see. Um, this one is for the summer, so it's a little romper. We actually bought this in... Um, when we were on holiday in Spain last year um, and I love it, it's beautiful. I really want to get Rosalie lots of rompers for the summer because I think they're so nice and so easy to wear especially when you're on holiday and it's hot. Um, so yeah this was just from a little boutique in Marbella um, but yeah I love it, it's so nice. Uh, so yeah I'm looking forward to putting her in this in the summer. And then this last item, this is something that my mum got, um, it's in track to 18 months, this has got little matching pants as well. I don't know where they are, where are the pants? It's like got lots of layers. Oh here are the pants. Little panties, um, smocking along the front again, it's just pastel, nice pastel colours, so I think that will look really nice. Um, yeah, so looking forward to putting her in that, lovely. Question number 10 is what colours look best on your baby? Um, I have, Rosalie has got a lot of pink in her wardrobe. She wears a lot of pink because that's mostly what she has. Uh, I think when you're having a girl people tend to buy you a lot of pink. So a lot of her first, her 0 to 3 and her 3 to 6 stuff was pink. Um, but, and I tend to like pink as well to be honest. So, uh, but obviously around Christmas time she had a bit more red coming in. She, she wore bit more red um, but I think I want to try I suppose I don't know if pink necessarily suits her the best um, I think I want to try she's got really bright blue eyes so I want to try and get her some blue and yellow um, clothes because I think that looks really nice I think that will bring out her eyes uh, and luckily the next spring summer collection is all blue and yellow so I'm looking forward to buying her some of those bits because I think, especially because she's got no hair, I think it'll look really nice and it'll make her eyes really stick out. Stick out? That doesn't sound very good. Make her eyes really stand out. Um, so yeah, I guess the colour that, she wears pink but I, I think, I'm not sure that necessarily suits her the most and I think blue probably would bring out the colour of her eyes and look best. I feel I've uh, rambled on on that question somewhat. And that was... That was the last question, so I think, yeah, that was, that was the last question, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope I've done it justice Millie, um, yeah, so I tag some more people if you would like to do this tag, um, so I will tag Umbungo, uh, that's Leanne, and I will tag Kerry from Kerry Marie, uh, I think her blog's called Live With Love. Um, so I tag those two people. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tag and if you'd like to see more videos like this then let me know. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I think that's it. Thank you very much. I'm going to wrap it up now. Thanks for watching. Bye!